Well, space offers a truly unique environment to learn something that you can't learn on Earth. And take the, the microgravity environment, the reduction in local gravitational force by a factor of a million over what you see here on Earth. And say you look at, at uh, life forms. Life has evolved on Earth for well over a billion years where temperatures change, pressures change, the pH, the chemical potentials, everything swings all over the map except the magnitude of gravitational force. It's been as if the magnitude of gravity on Earth is you're in the tenderest of incubators. And now, for the first time in the whole history of life on this planet, we can change the magnitude of the gravitational forces by a factor of a million. And try changing, say, temperature by a factor of a million and see how long it takes your nematodes to shrivel up and, and die. And now we can take creatures from simple organisms to complex creatures like, like Luca. <laughs> and, and the fact that human beings can go into space and, and, and actually thrive is an amazing discovery in itself. And then we're finding all these, these sort of tertiary physiological effects uh, that slowly come about when you've stayed in space for months. And, and it, it's an amazing opportunity to learn more about life and human function much like the transoceanic explorations of the 15th and 16th centuries put people in an environment where they were not used to being in, and then you end up with uh, diseases that we know now have common cures like scurvy, uh, but that was a big mystery back then. And now we take people and we put them in space and we have retinal disorders, we have bone uh, decalcification, we've got immune system issues, we've got uh, 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 circulation uh, issues, and, and we can use this now as a knob to investigate uh, disease-like symptoms in healthy people. Mm. Yeah. So it's an amazing opportunity to learn about ourselves for life on our planet. Great. And I'm only relatively complex. Okay. <laughs> um, well, we're we're going to go to the short questions. Uh